How's it going everybody? This is Double Wide 6 and today I'm making a little video on how to weld plastic. Um, I made a video before on how to weld plastic about a year and a half ago. I, I fixed a hair dryer and I got a lot of people telling me like uh, just buy a new hair dryer what a waste of time some of that stuff well I don't think the video was the, the point of the video really wasn't to fix the hair dryer it was more or less to show you guys how to weld plastic but uh, anyhow that hair dryer my wife's still using it and uh, it's holding up fine and uh, you know anyone can go out there and buy a new hair dryer and uh, basically, if you haven't figured it out, it's not how much money you make, it's how much you save. So if you can save 10 bucks here and there, you'll be all right. So anyhow, this is a piece of a snowblower shoot, a craftsman, a craftsman made out of plastic here. And you can see it's cracked right here, okay? This part costs like 40 bucks. And what I'm doing is I'm cleaning it with isopropyl alcohol on both sides. And the other side's cracked as well. On this side, I'm going to show you a gluing technique that uh, I learned about this from my uncle. And I tried it once on a, uh, I fixed a, a propane uh, torch nozzle the plastic was broken and it worked absolutely excellent it's like concrete so here I have a pretty good crack as you can see it's also cracked here so what I want to do is build up plastic on top of this whole area okay and when I do this I'm going to squeeze that gap together so uh, it doesn't leak through so to do this I'm using super glue and baking soda so here we go, we're going to take our super glue and we're going to put a fair amount right on here, just like this, real quick. And we're going to take our baking soda and we're going to put it right on there, just like that. It's probably too much. And we're going to kind of work it together a little bit. And so I'm just sort of pushing it in, working it together. This is going to get like concrete. I can already feel it getting hard. It has some sort of exothermic reaction where it creates a lot of heat. I can feel it like almost starting to heat up and sort of get hot on my finger. And now that I have that stuck a little bit temporarily, I'm going to add a little bit more super glue right at our joint. I'm trying to remember where it was cracked, I think back in here. It takes a fair amount of super glue, but what it does is it turns that super glue into like a hard plastic really hard cuz super glue is real thin and it'll normally leak right through so it also dries really quick so I'm gonna let that sit a little bit and we'll come back all right so it, it appears to be set up. It's been about two, three minutes here. I'm just taking a little compressed air. I'm going to blow this out a little bit. And you can see our glue. See, super glue is very thin, but this allows it to thicken up and build up. And if we look, if you listen to that, you can see how hard it is. It's like rock hard. So that looks pretty good. So here's a look at it. And I'm twisting it. There's still a crack on this side, but that is pretty nice and solid. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to, on the inside, because I don't want to build up there, because it'll be in the way for the snowblower shoot, I'm going to do a, a plastic weld on the back of this. So we'll show you that other process if you didn't see my other video. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the backside of our plastic. 
Once again, isopropyl alcohol works. Anything that will degrease it. There is some grease on this plastic, so you want to get it clean. And now I'm going to be using my soldering iron, full heat, and I'm applying it right to that crack. Alright, you can see how it draws right through the plastic like that. And then what I want to do is come back and scrape plastic into that ditch. Okay, if it's a little bit rough when I'm done, what I'm going to do is come back and fill it or uh, grind it off with either sandpaper or something else. I'm getting, uh, I'm breathing in some of this burned plastic. It's harsh. And I'm packing up this molten plastic and just filling in that crack. This works pretty good. But I think the glue might even be better, surprisingly. So I'm just trying, I think I can smooth this out by hand. Well enough that I'll just lightly sand that. So there's a quick fix. You could do that on both sides, or you can try out that uh, super glue and baking soda. So here's the finished part. Everything's finished up. You can see I got the super glue on the outside of that one. On the inside, I welded, and I did the same on this side. You can see that's rock hard. And here you go. Here's the piece. All right, and I'm not taking it easy on it. I'm hitting that thing hard. Both sides. We'll bring it up, twist, nothing. I mean, that thing is solid as can be. So, works out pretty well. No issues, and I'm, I'm really beating on it. And if you don't believe me, here you go. We'll throw it on the floor once. We'll drop it this way. Thing is good. No issues. Solid as can be. So here's a look at the part back on the machine. I found out there's an inner ring that's plastic too. There was a crack on that as well that I fixed. This thing didn't spin at all. And now that I have it welded up, it seems to be spinning great, working very well. Uh, a tip for you. If you have to do this repair, I think it's pretty common. And the parts, if I had to get those two rings, uh, you know, it would be close to 80 bucks. Um, a tip for you is don't tighten those bolts too tight. They're lock nuts. They don't have to be torqued down. Whoever put it on there over tightened those bolts, and that's why it ended up cracking. I'm Double Wide 6. Got a bunch of repair videos. You can check out my channel. Thanks for watching.